Technologies never stay still, especially from the side of robotics, and so are we. So today, we will see a dozen of cool cyber animals, and not only, one robot from our list even knows how to cook food. The family of robot animals from the German developer of robotics, Festo, is growing. The company presents many new robots, for example, a swarm of ants that can interact with each other, as well as butterflies and dragonflies, which are characterized by all the ease and grace of these insects. When they were created, the company focused not only on their appearance, but also on behavioral characteristics. The ants coordinate with each other all their actions and movements. Each ant, that is 13 centimeters long, has on its belly a radio module through which precise coordination is carried out. A 3D stereo camera in the head of the ant allows it to see and the infrared optical sensor installed below monitors the movement of the mini robot. Meanwhile, two onboard batteries provide up to 40 minutes of wireless ants work and they are recharged in the dock with the help of their antenna. Robotic seagulls and dragonflies that can fly just like their living relatives. The seagull was developed in 2012. Later, a dragonfly that can hang in the air, no worse than its natural counterpart, was invented. All the details of the dragonfly were made on a 3D printer, and you can control this miracle with a smartphone. Through these developments, the company could edge out the development market of flying drones, but it doesn't need it. The technology of flying and hovering in the air is worked on these two prototypes. As for butterfly robots, the weight of each butterfly is only 32 grams. This includes two servos, a pair of small batteries, and a laser-made casing. After one charging that lasts 15 minutes, butterflies will be able to flutter for about four minutes, and their flight looks very impressive. They're not just butterflies, but a whole system that consists of 10 high-speed infrared cameras installed in a room where butterflies fly. They track the infrared markers installed on the robots transmitting data in real time to the central computer, so that's how coordination of butterflies is going in the space. You can hardly distinguish these bionic butterflies from the real ones in the room where they fly. The Kangaroo Robot At the core of the bionic kangaroo is a mechanism of repercussion. It uses the energy recovered from one jump to help it make another. Real kangaroos quickly get tired and could not jump for a long time without this mechanism. Springs that store mechanical energy on the landing and give it away on the next jump are used in this project. Bionic kangaroo that weighs 7 kilograms and highs 1 meter can make a jump of 80 centimeters in length and 40 centimeters in height. The power supply system that forces it to move is a pneumatic acculimator. The robot is controlled by a special bandage that reads myoelectric signals from the human forearm. Of course, Boston Dynamics is engaged in the development of robotic organisms. Nowadays, this is a kind of Skynet from the saga of the Terminator. Their dog robot was originally designed for military purposes, but it was too clumsy and primitive in its actions. Later, they created a robot cheetah that gallops at 45 kilometers per hour. This is a little bit faster than the peak speed of the current world record holder. Thus, a four-legged robot developed by order of the U.S. military today is able to catch up and destroy any person on this planet. And their new robot looks like a cross between a medium-sized dog and a giraffe. It can run, walk, sneak on half-bent, and can even bring you something to drink. It won't refuse to clean up, throw garbage into the trash can, and put dirty dishes into the dishwasher. At full charge, it can work up to 90 minutes, chasing the house, collecting garbage, and according to the video, make fun of the owner. The robot is wired with sensors that allow it to navigate in space and successfully carry out the tasks assigned to it, and it can easily climb stairs. Robot Shark this unmanned underwater facility, 
a robot shark length of about one and a half meters and weigh up to 45 kilograms. Like a real fish, the robot uses the tail to move and control its movement. The robot moves in a fish way, so it is very difficult to distinguish it or at least isolate it on the background of real marine fauna. It can swim above and dive to depth. Such shark can reach an enemy ship unnoticed. She can spy, repair ships, and arrange sabotage. Robot Cook This is not an animal as you might think, but the invention is so cool that it can become one of your favorites in the future. A robot that knows how to cook different foods no worse than a real person. This miracle looks like two hands attached over the hob that can use any kitchen appliances exactly copying the actions of a person. At the presentation, the robot cooked soup for the participants, spending only 30 minutes. Also noteworthy is that the system is controlled using a smartphone and scopes recipes from the net. It is reported that this robot is able to copy the movements of a cook's hands, shot on a video camera. In the version for sale, there will be a refrigerator and storeroom where the cooking products will be stored and a robotic cook will put the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. In order to not frighten people with a RoboCop that waves with knives in different directions with great speed, the developers have made the robot chef slower than the average person. The Robot Spider From the beginning, it is worth mentioning that the Spider model was printed using a 3D printer. The engine is integrated with the servo motors of the PAW, three in each. The resulting system provides simple control of flexible plastic movements with convenient coordination from the control panel. He was shown in one of the series of Mythbusters. Underwater Robot Snake The mechanical snake is designed to perform maintenance and repair of various mechanisms on the seabed, mainly on oil platforms. It is capable of replacing costly autonomous underwater vehicles, easily slipping into places where cumbersome robots cannot reach. Fish is another underwater inhabitant and environmental controller. How to control the level of water pollution. You can take samples, take it to the laboratory and analyze. And you can use a specifically designed robot in the form of a fish that will float in the water and check its purity. Robot fish tests were conducted in the port of the Spanish city of Gilgen. At this stage, it was checked how effectively they are able to determine the degree of water pollution and help to recognize the main sources of pollution. Robotic Puppy Named Chip it is remarkable by its wheels of the original shape on the outside of the paws that move the toy over complex surfaces, whether it's smooth, slippery tile, or carpet. The electronic intelligence and ingenuity of the CyberDog is based on the abundance of sensors in its design. Accelerometer, gyroscopes, infrared, and sensor sensors analyze the lighting and other environment parameters. They allow the robot puppy to see, feel, react to the owner's touch and the jester commands given to it. Unfortunately, the toy was not equipped with voice recognition technology, but a special bracelet is included as a control panel. It allows the cyber dog to recognize the host from a distance and to perceive the commands passed through the bracelet, among which is to me, dance, sit and lie down. Developers even provided the FAS mode. When it is activated, Robot Dog starts barking at the person, amusingly imitating the attack and aggression. The toy turned out to be very funny, but it's unlikely that once Robot Dog can replace a living dog with what the audience of this video will certainly agree. Chip is better to use as a toy for your real dog. These innovative inventions do an excellent job. It is unlikely that they will someday turn up like the machines from the film Terminator. Although this is a completely different story.